Hello, today in this video I am going to show you how you can create your output in MS Word file for your summary table or your descriptive table. So if you want to put your output in MS Word then for that you have to use a command that is the command ASDOC. Okay, so now for this command first of all what you have to do is you have to install it first of all in your system so we will use the command ssc install asdoc with this command you will be able to install it in, in your system and now this asdoc command is uh, already installed in my system so it will give me a message that all files already exist but if it is not installed in your computer that then you can use this command to install asdoc now after this you have to do the second thing and that is you have to show the system that where you want these output to be saved so now for that let us suppose that you want to save those commands here in your f drive okay so here in f drive uh, let us suppose that you have created a new folder and the name of the folder is stata output now remember this that there should not be any space uh, between these uh, between the names uh, name which you are giving to your folder okay because if you will uh, give a space then uh, the stata will uh, give uh, an error message to you so uh, if you are giving any name then the name should be without any space so now this is stata output and now here I, I want my results to be here so for this I have to show the path to stata and how I will show that path is that I will right click here and I will copy the address after this what I will do is I will go to stata and in stata what I will do is I will paste it here and after I will write here CD and space and in the beginning I will write here CD space and this is <coughs> my path which I have given now I will click enter here and now stata knows where I have to save the output now I will use the command that is ASDOC SUM summarize okay so what this will do is it will give me the summary of all my variables which are present here you can see here there are so many variables which are present here so it has given me the summary of all those tables all those variables okay so this is my table now and it contains all my observation number of observations my mean standard deviation minimum value and maximum values okay now if I want the output in my MS Word file then how I will do it I will what I will do is Okay, uh, I have uh, created this uh, output file because uh, this was ASDOC, ASDOC sum. Okay, now now if I have used ASDOC here, it means that it has created the output also. Uh, it has created the output in the MS Word file, and then that MS Word file is here, my file .doc. If I click it here, then you can see here my file is created, and this. Uh, sorry ms my output is created here and it is it contains all my variables here okay and it is a very nice table which is created no need to do anything else okay now let us suppose that you don't want all these means that uh, if you want to have now in this command there is one more thing that uh, 
if you are writing here a s d o c sum and after that you are writing one more thing and that is a that is the replace okay then what this replace will do is this replace command replaces the data which was present with the new data okay in the same file okay now if this is the data it is the new data which is replaced which has done the replacement for the previous data okay now let us suppose that you don't want all these variables here okay you don't want all these variables you want only few variables out of all these variables so for this i will again do the same thing but now this time i will show which variables i want okay so for this you will use the same command asdoc sum but this time you will show the you will show your variables also for example you will write here asdoc sum and this time you don't want all these variables you want only assets you want ap sales you want ap interest inter, interest cash uh, internal cash flow you want ap collateral ap net account payable ap account payable asset growth solvency interest cover ratio and only these and out out of these statistical values you don't want all of them you want only two values that is you want your mean and you want your p50 means that is the mean median if you want only mean and medians then what you will write here with a comma you will write here stat and in bracket you will write here mean space p50 if you want anything else for example you want here standard deviation also so you will write here std dev okay so for a uh, standard deviation you have to use only the following statistics are allowed that is sd okay so you write here sd standard for standard deviation you write here sd okay and now so here now you can see here only you have got the values for mean p50 that is median and standard deviation for only those variables which you have written here okay but now one more thing is happening here that i did not write here replace if i have not written it here replace then what it does is that what it does is that you click here my file and here you can see that it has written that data it has given the output of that data just after the previous data because you had not used replace here if you use replace here then what it will do is it will replace it will delete the previous data and it, the previous and it will be replaced with the new data so if you are using replace command here here if you write here replace if you are if you write here replace then what it will do is now you can see here your previous data has been deleted and it is replaced by this data only okay but if you are not writing here replace then by default it will the stata will consider that it is appended so if you want to write here append then also it will do the same task as it was done earlier if you write here append then what it will do
here it is showing an error and the error is uh, file my file dot doc could not be opened so your file could not be opened two files that have been opened so now we will write here this command again and now here you can see that the previous table and just after this here we have the new table okay so if you are using append then the previous table will not be deleted the the new table will be will be created just after the previous table but if you are not using the append command and if you are using the replace command then the previous table will be deleted and it will be replaced with the new statistical table okay so now if you can do many other things using uh, asdoc so if you want more help then you can write here help asdoc and with this you can do various things here you can see that you can do many operations with all these okay so I hope uh, this video will help you to get the outputs in the MS Word file and uh, thanks for stopping by